first established 343, we spent a lot of time thinking about what stories we wanted to tell. Bounding the universe was the first story we wanted to tell, was the last story we wanted to tell within a timeline. The story that 343 was most excited about was Master Chief. It's the 10th anniversary of Halo. We're like, okay, we just we kind of have to do this at this point. It just makes a ton of sense. We are announcing at E3 this year, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. And we're announcing Halo 4, which is the first in a new trilogy of Halo games. I think for most people, Halo 1 is the quintessential Halo. Not only did Bungie nail the control for an FPS on a console, but they also told story in the most compelling way that it's ever been told in an FPS at that time. A couple of years ago when we first started building the recipe for what would go into it, we had to put in a, a huge amount of thought into do we, do we split up the multiplayer from the single player? Do we use the original Halo multiplayer and try and make net code work with that? Do we use the reach code to keep that infrastructure and that ecosystem going? First thing we wanted to do is make it look like a 360 title. How would it look if this game came out today? How would it feel? How would it be different? Sometimes you find the little additions that's like, God, I wish if this could have been in there 10 years ago and it looks so right in there right now. And that's what we're looking for and all the changes that we're making. Retouching Halo 1 needed to be a labor of love. The audio, the characters, the levels, the grass, the dirt, the sky, the moons, trying to find a way to reproduce them faithfully, but in a way that looks like it's 10 years later. Literally, you pick this up, the gameplay is identical to what it was 10 years ago, because, I mean, that was just so original, it was so new, it was so fresh. It's great to kind of go back to that old gameplay and feel as powerful as you did in both vehicles and with the pistol. The Halo 1 pistol is back. It is still wildly overpowered. Three shots to the head for many Anywhere on the map will kill anything. It's all in there. If you love flying into the beach on Silent Cartographer and starting in that first big fight, that's in there. It's looking like 2011. Co-op play was probably one of my favorite features 10 years ago. We have co-op play over live. Anniversary will have stuff hidden in it. It's going to have stuff hidden in it that you know about, like terminals, and you're just going to have to find them yourself. I'm also excited about the stories we're telling in the terminals and then having achievements. That's long overdue. Being able to switch back to the classic on the fly it's just going to be kind of a magical experience. You hit a button at any point in the campaign, you flop back, and that's how the game looked 10 years ago. It's just great from a history standpoint to just look at it and go like, oh wow, my god, this is this is the game I remember. It feels like a modern game. It feels like an FPS that came out yesterday. It does not feel 10 years old. So we didn't touch the gameplay, but it's amazingly beautiful now. You look up in the sky and you see the halo ring and you see the mountains and you're like, I've never been someplace like this before. And I feel that again now, seeing it. I mean, I feel it like I did 10 years ago. The beauty of this is this time on Xbox Live, you can just get, get back together with the same old crew the same old posse and, and I think virtual pizza parties are going to be the order of the day. It's super exciting to finally be able to talk about what we've been working on for the last years. Just reliving the Halo 1 campaign, for most people the overall experience is going to be pretty incredible. We get Halo, we respect Halo, we appreciate it uh, and we're going to do right by it. What we're going to see at E3 is just going to be a first taste of that. I'm looking forward to being able to dish out a little bit more in the months to come. At PAX this August, we have Halo Fest, where you'll hear more about Halo 4, and you get hands-on play with Halo Anniversary, both campaign and multiplayer. That's going to be a blast and a hell of a way to finish the summer.